So when it came out to like writing a book, I knew it was something I wanted to do. And so I just got to the point one day where it was like, yo, I, I, I'm going to do this. And I love the title, From Victim to Victor. Yes, ma'am. That is a title that speaks very, very clear. A lot of people run around wanting or saying, I'm a victim, I'm a victim, I'm a victim. Yes, ma'am. But you, from victim to victor, that's like saying it all. Like, yeah. been there, done that, and here I stand here as a victorious person. Yes, ma'am. And that's how I see you. When I look at you, that's how I see you. It's it's really a testament to what you do. Yes, ma'am. You know, I grew up in a standard, you know, uh, mom and dad home. Okay. Uh, but there were a lot two of parent things. Family. Yeah, two parent family. But there were a lot of things that kind of got out of hand. I got tired of getting beaten and whooped. And, you know, uh, I had a bed to sleep in. My parents didn't want me to sleep in my bed or... Uh, there were times where I went like three or four days without eating, you know what I'm saying, certain situations because I guess my parents were trying different punishment methods. I got tired of those methods. Mm -hmm. And so um, one day, man, I got I got so tired of just getting whooped in that belt, man. I just, I just started running. You just left. Like they punished me so much, but I didn't receive a lot of like love. And On the flip side. You know what I'm saying? I think like, I don't remember too many times like I'm getting rewarded for doing right. I don't remember too many times where like my mom told me that she loved me, but I heard like every time you act up, like we gonna take it behind up. So I, and I remember uh -huh. things like that, but I don't can't remember you know too many times my mom was like, yo, like I love you on this tip. So yeah, uh, you know, I think that maybe something that may be going along with a lot of our youth nowadays, like you know, some of the parents calling their kid that you know you bad, you are gonna be just like this, but it's like yo, like I. You know, they're going to be kids, but they need, what they need is like love and attention. They need affection because they're trying to find themselves. So right. uh, I don't think I would change it. You know, I don't think I would change it because if, it, if I would have changed it, I don't think I would be where I am today. Right, you right. Know, uh, you recognize that your journey was your journey, that right. that was your destiny to do the things that you've done up to this point. Right. So, you know, I, I really like that, that you're sharing that because a lot of people, you know, they'll see themselves as a situation that maybe they could have avoided or yeah. something that they should have. Man, I hate that that was the worst thing that happened, but you, you figured it out. Oh, you, yeah. you figured it out. Hey. <laughs> You gotta figure things out, man. Yeah. I, I always say that you have to make a commitment to the commitment, and it's kind of like you say, focus on the focus. Oh, yeah. you know, like that's the same thing. Yes, that's that. That's, that's that same that's terminology. You know, like when you focus on the focus, you staying locked in. You yes. staying committed. It's like making the commitment to the commitment. Yes. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes. Yes.